Welcome to another Fallout Breakdown video. In this video, I'm going to look at all the automatic and semi-automatic rifles from the Fallout franchise. There are quite a few, and I won't be reviewing in any particular order. That said, here we go. The Fallout 3 Assault Rifle is otherwise known as the R91. It was used after discontinuing the M series in the early 21st century and was provided to National Guard units. It is specifically mentioned that the Washington DC Guard units were outfitted with the rifles and that is why they are so plentiful in the Capital Wasteland. The R91 was produced by Stent Security Solutions and is directly inspired by the Heckler & Koch G3. Although it is a one-to-one -one representation of the G3, it is chambered in a different round from its real-world counterpart. There is actually a different variant of the G3 that is chambered in the 5.56, just like the R91, but it differs aesthetically. So the R91 seems to be a mixture of the looks of the G3 and the round of the HK33. The Fallout 3 Chinese Assault Rifle is otherwise known as the Type 93. The Type 93 was made for the special purpose of being supplied to Chinese infiltrators in the United States as well as communist sympathetic groups that are, were located in the United States. The Type 93 Chinese Assault Rifle is also chambered in the 5.56 just like the American counterpart, the R91. It is stated that for this reason, the gun is chambered in the 5.56. The gun is obviously based off the AK platform, which most variants in the real world are chambered in the 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So it is notable that the Type 93 was made specifically to utilize the 5.56, which would have been plentiful and easily accessible in the United States since it's used in the R91. The Type 93 is a mixture of many real-world AK variants, and it is somewhat notable that even though the Type 93 is chambered in the smaller 5.56 round, it still has the curved magazine like a 7.62 magazine. Its ubiquity in the Capital Wasteland hints towards there being a very prevalent invasive Chinese force and large sympathetic groups, like what is found at Mama Duterte's in Fallout 3. The Assault Carbine is found only in Fallout New Vegas and is widely accessible and it is chambered in the 5mm round. This rifle most closely represents the CAR-15, which was used as early as 1962 by Special Forces, making it very much a Cold War weapon and not displaced from the time and culture that Fallout represents. For those that are unfamiliar with guns, the number used to describe the round is a measurement of the diameter of the bullet. Since America loves its imperial system, sometimes rounds are referred to by the diameter in inches, or it will be referred to in millimeters. The modern 5.56 round, which is most likely very close, if not identical, to the in-game 5.56, is about 0.219 inches in diameter. That would make the 5mm round around 0.197 inches in diameter. These are relatively small diameter rounds, and depending on a number of other factors, it has an effect on muzzle velocity, range, and overall kinetic energy of the round. One reason why having the assault carbine in 5mm is a little unusual is that there's been a general trend in the modern US military to start looking into larger diameter bullet alternatives since most elements have complained about a lack of knockdown power. It is kind of interesting to see the Fallout universe moving toward even smaller diameter munitions. Furthermore, it is odd that the carbine wouldn't be chambered in the 5.56 since it is typically more cost effective and overall easier if there is a standard military round. Mistakes can be on a logistical level or as simple as a soldier loading the wrong bullets into his rifle. The marksman's carbine is very similar to the assault carbine and is also chambered in the 5mm. The aspects that differentiate the marksman's carbine from the assault carbine are things like the telescoping stock, a chin rest, an ACOG scope, and a multitude of tactical rails. This makes the rifle look even more like something we would see in our modern day as opposed to something from the Fallout universe. For these reasons, the marksman's carbine most closely resembles the modern M4 carbine. It is kind of interesting to juxtapose the R91 against the Marksman's Carbine simply because they seem like they are so displaced in time. This begs the question, was the Marksman's and the Assault Carbine issued to specialized branches of the military, or was it in the process of being adopted by the military before it could be widely distributed? The Service Rifle is another New Vegas weapon 
that highly resembles the M16 platform. Josh Sawyer has said himself that the design inspiration for the service rifle were the AR-15 and the AR-10. Interestingly, it has wood furniture as opposed to the usual composite, which is likely an influence from the AR-10, of which there are many examples with wood furniture. This use of wood may be linked to the energy crisis that saw massive fighting over dwindling oil reserves. The service rifle is chambered in the 5.56. The rifle is single shot only, like the AR-15, which is very different from the high rate of fire carbines that this is related to. As a small side note, this rifle was actually intended to have a bayonet in the game, but it was never implemented. An interesting, unique variant of the service rifle is this survivalist rifle. The rifle can be found in the Honest Hearts DLC and shoots a 12.7mm round, which is much bigger than the normal 5.56. 12.7mm translates to half an inch, so this rifle fires a large 50 caliber round. This round is likely similar to the 50 caliber Beowulf round that was made for the AR-15 platform in our world. In-game lore says that it was to offer guards the necessary firepower to intercept anyone attempting to breach the checkpoint, regardless of equipment. Similarly, the 50 caliber Beowulf round is often used in an anti-material role, capable of punching through thick metal and engine blocks to stop vehicles. In the first Fallout game, there is a rifle known as the AK-112. This weapon is chambered in the 5mm round and most closely resembles a Browning automatic rifle or a bar. According to the wiki, this weapon is of Soviet origin and was in use in the early 21st century, although it is not exactly clear who was using the weapons at that time. The weapon is capable of single shot fire or burst fire and doesn't seem to resemble any known Soviet weaponry from the 20th century. Another rifle that can be found in the first Fallout games, namely Fallout, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics is the Colt Rangemaster. It was chambered in the 223 and for that reason likely not in use by the military. 223 and 5.56mm rounds are very similar in diameter, however traditionally guns chambered in the 223 cannot shoot 5.56mm while 5.56mm guns can shoot 223 rounds. This is primarily due to the fact that 5.56mm ammunition is designed to shoot at higher pressures than the 223, meaning that guns made to shoot 223 are not able to handle the higher pressures and could break or fail. Identifying this gun's real world counterpart is pretty difficult, primarily due to the size and resolution of the picture. There are no known firearms that look like it, however it shares some aspects of the M1 carbine and a Browning automatic rifle. The Heckler and Koch G111 is chambered in the 4.7mm round. This is a 1 for 1 translation of the real world Heckler and Koch G111. This is a special gun not just because it looks really different, but because it was designed to fire caseless ammunition via a very complex system. Caseless ammunition means that there is extra space and less weight because the bullet casings themselves are not needed. Although it was deemed a success and apparently an effective rifle, it did not, however, enter large-scale production as there was less interest in caseless ammunition as time went on. Likewise, in Fallout 2, this ammo is hard to come by, so it is possible the round was similarly ill-received. The FN FAL G series is another one-to-one -one representation of a real-world firearm, the FN FAL. This rifle fires the 7.62 by 51 mm round both in-game and in real life, which is similar to the rounds shot by the AK-47. A curious note is an in-game description mentions that it has been more widely used by armed forces than any other gun in history, meaning either the FAL was much more popular in the Fallout universe or the AK-47 was just less popular, as the AK-47 stands as the single most widely used rifle in history and is part of the Fallout universe. The Enfield XL70E3 is chambered in the 5mm round and was an experimental rifle developed shortly before the Great War. Although the name is a mouthful, it was said to be made of composite materials that are extremely strong and this rifle is very rare. This rifle is another 1 to 1 model of the Enfield XL64E5 which was developed in the 1970s. It is a bullpup design, 
meaning that the action is located in the stock, which means that the overall length of the rifle can be reduced. It is interesting to think that a gun produced in our world's 1970s was developed almost a hundred years later in the Fallout universe. Fallout Tactics had some more rifles that were modeled one for one with real world counterparts, namely the AK-47, the M16A1, and the Steyr AUG. Everyone's favorite Fallout game, Fallout Brotherhood, had a vault rifle that was designed by vault and located in the secret vault. It fired 9mm rounds and is loosely based on the AR platform. The so-called assault rifle in Fallout 4 is unnamed and unique to that game. The rifle appears to have a large barrel shroud and looks like the large water cooling shrouds on many World War I machine guns like the Lewis gun. It also has many other elements borrowed from other light and medium machine guns from the World War II era up to Vietnam. The assault rifle is chambered in the 5.56 and can be shot from a side-fed magazine or a box magazine and shoots both semi-auto and automatic. As a side note, it was referred to as the machine gun in in-game files instead of the assault rifle. So it is very probable that this was actually intended to be a machine gun as opposed to an assault rifle. The combat rifle is again unique to Fallout 4 and is chambered to shoot either the 45 or 308 rounds. Because this rifle can be changed so much through weapon modifications, it is hard to nail down exactly which gun this resembles. However, a modified and long barreled combat rifle very much looks like a Browning automatic rifle. The combat rifle shooting the 45 pistol round is fairly unique, and there are only two other weapons in the Fallout universe that shoot ammunition that is outside of their weapon class. Even when chambered in the 45, longer rifle rounds can be seen when reloading, suggesting that the rifle may have been originally intended to shoot 308 and 5.56, but it was switched to 45 and 308. It is important to note though, there is one unique weapon in Fallout 4 called December's Child which is a unique legendary that is chambered in the 5.56. The radium rifle is a unique rifle in Fallout 4 and is chambered in the 45. It is an almost one-for-one -one representation of the German World War II rifle called the Volkssturmgewehr. Really the only difference is that it has extra pieces thrown on that are apparently supposed to irradiate the bullets as they are fired or while they are in the magazine. The Volkssturmgewehr was produced by Nazi Germany near the end of World War II and because of this was made simply and cheaply due to the overall lack of resources. The real world rifle is chambered in the 7.92 by 33mm and is somewhat of a mystery how a World War II exclusively German design has survived a few hundred years to be a popular weapon among the children of Adam. The handmade rifle is again unique to Fallout 4 and is chambered in the 7.62mm round. It most closely resembles the AKM and other AK-47 variants that are also chambered in the 7.62. It's not very well known how much of the gun is actually handmade, as most of the gun, other than the stock, look very reasonably made and the gun is fairly powerful. It could be perhaps that the weapons were pieced together from other existing AK parts. An interesting aspect is that the gun and its ammunition can only be found in Nuka World and nowhere else in the Commonwealth. I think it stands to reason that the raiders that came to occupy Nuka World brought the weapon and ammunition with them from wherever they had come from prior to settling Nuka World. This rifle looks a lot like the Chinese assault rifle and the Chinese assault rifle was actually in the base Fallout 4 game untextured. It's not exactly known why the gun didn't make it into the game. But, a good question would be whether or not it would be chambered in 5.56, like the Chinese Assault Rifle from Fallout 3, or in 7.62, like the real-life AK-47, and like the handmade rifle is in Fallout 4. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two. Much of my research came from two sites in particular, and I will link them in the description for those that would like to read more in depth.